Hello, I'm Joven Johnson. Noted St. Anne Tourism stalwart and businessman Richard Sam last night succumbed to injuries received hours earlier in a car crash on the Landover Main Road in the parish. He was 79. He has been hailed for his contribution to the sector. The narcotics police have seized cocaine valued at 400,000 US dollars or approximately 60 million Jamaican dollars in separate operations in St. James and St. Mary yesterday. The police say five men who were reportedly traveling in the vehicles in which the drugs were found are now in police custody. A 15-year-old boy has been charged for the murder of 56-year-old shopkeeper Paula Raphael at her house on Unity Lane in Kingston 13. The teen who has been in custody since last week was charged on Wednesday for the August 22 incident. The monthly meeting of the Westmoreland Municipal Corporation was briefly halted today as councillors objected to a decision by the Westmoreland Western Member of Parliament, Moreland Wilson, to sit in the area designated for elected local officials. Mr Wilson had sat in the seat assigned to Lee Simpson, the Jamaica Labour Party councillor for the South Savannah Lamar Division. In sports, Elaine thompson Hira went to the full tilt in the women's 100 metres at the Diamond League Finals in Zurich today, clocking 10.65 seconds to win in a new meet record. In 17 races in the 100 metres this season, Mrs. Thompson Hira has only lost twice. In your currency trading today, it was costing $150.56 for one US dollar, the British pound sterling for $208.05, and the Canadian dollar for $120.02. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, expect isolated showers and thunderstorms across sections of north central and western parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Joven Johnson.